chapel, you go down Lovell, and is that Sanguinet? Sanguinet? Yes, S A N Q U I N E T. That's my stab, Sanguinet. And then we're going to turn left to the chapel. And this is where I'm basically, this is the big moment. No, I'm just, I'm just joking, sweet. Um, <laughs> this is the big moment. We're getting a wedding dress. No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> at, at the present moment, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting on uh, other things right now. Chapel parking um, is right over here. So we're just going to park right here. This does look serene. So the idea behind this chapel is serenity. I wonder what's in that building behind there. Maybe that's where you do your paperwork. I don't know. Put your dues. It's like a Scooby Doo adventure. Scooby Doo. Where are you? Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo Be Doo. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Not be sad and hope for the best every day. See your importance, that you are good in every day, and you can make it every way, every day. This is the entrance of the chapel right here. This is very interesting. This little statue right here is in quotations, beyond the blue. Conrad Pope, son of Ewell and Lena Holston Pope. So it says here, young Conrad was the inspiration for mom Pope's passion in serving orphans and children in need. Circle of Hope is a legacy to continue her dream. So it's dedicated to orphans. Aww, it's only six years old. Uh huh. This is it says Circle of Hope, right here. How do you know he's six years old? Nineteen oh eight. Oh, I see. Conrad Pope is his name. Nineteen oh eight to nineteen fourteen is this person right here. So that's during World War One. And he was a son of Ewell and Lena Holston Pope, of the uh, Lena World Pope War I home. Was what nineteen thirteen? Or the height of World War One was nineteen seventeen. I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could see the Lucille Ball statue. Do they have one here? No, they have it in New York. We'll just get a ticket and fly out there and see that. <laughs> so, somebody <laughs> vandalized it. Then they I do plan to go to New York. I would like to vlog it. I've I've never vlogged it. Lucille Ball was born, I think, uh, Albany. So the idea behind this. I believe it's, it's, is it, I'm going to get the name on it in just a minute. But the idea behind this chapel is serenity. So I'll try not to talk as much, but the, we're going to get the name of it, of the chapel. Right. Looks like some children's stuff here.
Oh, you smell barbecue? That's very serene. Now this is interesting over here. Linda found something. This is mom pope. We, the home kids dedicate this living memorial on this first annual home coming day to our beloved mom pope in appreciation for her many years, 1930, of dedicated, caring, loving, and teaching us in all things to do our best. We thank also the many sponsors of Miss Pope and the Lena Pope Home for their never ending support. Oh, wow. this is dedicated like to her. 96 years old. 96 years old, Miss Lena Pope. She was born in 1880 and died in 1976. Lena Pope Home Alumni Association dedicated on July 4th, 1976. I was three years old, about three years old, whenever that was dedicated to her. And she died at 96 years old. I'm gonna see if the door's actually open for Linda. So, let's see here. She said the door was open, so we're gonna open it up and go in. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, wow. So when you walk in, it's very quiet. Yeah, it smells exactly like a church. You were the man with the, the cats. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We just want the serenity kind of fill. Oh, wow. This was built in 1990. So it's very new. His name was what? Faye Jones was the architect's name. Okay. He was a student of Frank Lloyd Wright. Yes. Wow. The second favorite building of Fort Worth. Who, who did that? The magazine? The Fort Worth chapter of the American Institute of Art. Oh, okay. The Fort Worth chapter of the American Institute of Art. Of architecture. Fort Worth chapter of American Institute of Architecture voted this as the second favorite building. Frank Lloyd Wright, disciple, mm -hmm. uh, actually did this. I was wondering how the, uh, the child out there that says 1908 to 1914, I wonder how that child passed away. It's the, the statue at the parking lot, you mean? Yeah, that, that one, one over yes, there, yes. yeah. It, that was Lena, Lena Pope started, that's, they owned right, the building. Yeah. She started an orphanage and that mm -hmm. was her son. Okay. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. So Lena Pope's son died of diphtheria and it's dedicated. Some of this is dedicated to him.
This was open to Isaiah. Starting on the spear of the Lord, God is upon me. And, and it does go down. The elevator goes down. I see. Thank you, sir. And this is from the, I guess, the front part of the church where it lets all the light in to create that serenity feel. And one of the keepers was taking care of the cats over there when we first approached. We approached from this area right here. The only way to get in is to drive around and go to Lovell to get to San Quint. So there's a, a way to go up here on the next level. There's a staircase, he said, and then there's a dressing room. Yeah, that, dressing room downstairs. Okay, so that's what the elevator leads to. Okay, yeah, there is a downstairs portion. Here's the upstairs. Wow. Do not move piano or organ. Um, I thought there was going to be like seating up here. Well, I'm not, I'm not vlogging that part. There's an organ there. I wonder if it actually works. Probably have to turn it on. Oh my gosh. There's a memory lock here. Now the piano, you're probably gonna be able to play. Oh my goodness, the light turned on. There's a light that turns on right here for the music. Sorry, I just, every time I'm around a piano, What a beautiful place to, to go to, to hear a sermon. Wow. Oh my goodness. What, 
This is interesting right here. Okay, so this is the lighting booth for the actual church. They have an old school, probably like 1980s, maybe 1970s lighting mixing board. This is all for my, no, this is actually a mixing board for sound, left and right speaker. You've got uh, microphones that would be placed out in the congregation or maybe uh, with the minister. Or, and you have, yes, they're using tape cassette, which is very reliable. Uh, tape cassette is actually what they even use on Broadway. This is tape cassette because it rarely ever mal malfunctions. It's very reliable. And then you have this little peep hole where you watch, control the lights here and the sound. I thought it was a mixing board at first, but it actually is a mixing board for sound. And this is for sound too. So I'm assuming lights, I don't know, I'm getting kind of theatery. I don't know if there is a light board. I thought it was a light board at first. Unless, no, this is all for mixing here, for sound mixing, uh, for controlling the sound within the church. They have a little uh, sound booth up there, up in this area. Yeah. Oh, you can read music? What are we doing here? What is playing? <laughs> You're really playing that? Yeah. Okay. You're reading the music and playing? Yeah. When did you learn to do this? When you're not playing it? No, but you're reading the music yeah, off the that's page. that's A. That's C, C, You know C, how to C, play piano? F, G, A. I don't know how technically you're supposed to put it. C, D, E, F, G, A. Sounds hmm. like A. What is the uh, the hymn? Does it say? We gotta put it back where it goes. Uh, how beautiful! Oh, okay. You're playing the middle part of it. She found some uh, sheet music for how beautiful, which fits Linda. Oh, you're so nice. Can you play the opening? No, I'm not that good. <laughs> I, can, I I don't remember how to read above the staff. C D E F. Every good mother does fine. But you know the I know keys that, on the I know that's like an F. That's like an A. A, F. But you know the keys on the piano. Yeah, so much. Yeah, that's E. C, D, E, F, G, A. And then sharp's always the top right. Right, that's sharp. Uh -huh. C, C sharp. C sharp's also a B flat. Well, actually, that's C. C sharp. Because sharp is... One note, half a note higher. Flats half a note lower, right? Am I right? So that'd be like C, that'd be C sharp. That's D, and C sharp's also D flat. And you have E, that's D sharp. And like E flat, and then F, F sharp, G, or G flat, A. I did not know you could do that. My grandma could do that. <coughs> I don't really know how to do it. But they do that. I think other than my dad, I think my grandma was the only one that could really play the piano. Yeah, I'm very slow though. I, I can play it by ear only. She used to let me play her piano when I was a child. Well, I need to put the letters on here. C, D, E, F, G, A. So I'd be like, A. D. <laughs> D, G, 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 A, B, U, D. Okay. That's awesome. Okay, we're at a 10 minute take right now. What are we looking at? The hymnal? Gosh, how do people play this stuff?
especially when you got all these flats going along. Jeez Louise. B flat, E flat, A Beneath flat. the cross of Jesus is 183. And this hymnal What song do you like? I like them all. Andrew. What's an easy one to sing? I feel bad. I don't even know a song. Praise the Lord Almighty. Praise to the... <laughs> Praise. I can sight read a little bit. Praise, Praise to, to the Lord, Lord the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise Him, for He is thy health and salvation. <laughs> I can kind of sight read a little bit. Now to his temple draw near. Well, you know what note that is, right? What? Well, that's one, one, one beat. Like, boom, boom, boom. That's one and a half. It has a little dot to it. Mm -hmm. So, boom, 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 boom. So, it's all ye here now to his. No, no, no. Here needs to be a little That's a half one right there, right? No, that's one and a half. So are you, are you here, here now to his temp temple? B -b 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 I don't know how you do that. That's like a draw near. Oh, join me. Oh, sorry. <coughs> this hymnal was given by Asako G and Don Cosby, Patricia and Dixon Schaefer. Definitely need a washer. Yeah. Well, we need to wrap it up. This is this is amazing right here. All right, cool. Okay, we're going to try the elevator. I was going to try to do this. Okay, let's, this is the changing room downstairs. Oh, wow, I'm just waiting right here. So they have an elevator in this church. Love her elevator. I'm just joking. <laughs> door is going to open. The door is going to open. What? This room. Oh, my soul, praise him, for he is thy health and salvation. Playing? Yeah. You're reading the music and playing? Yeah.